Okay, um, I want to talk about making a picture book with Kindle Comic Creator. Kindle Comic Creator is actually a really, really, really cool system to use to create picture books. Um, a picture book, by what I mean, is that you have a bunch of pictures and you want to create a book. So what I've done is we're going to create a book called Seattle Punk Rock, um, Volume 1. I used to hang out at a nightclub called The Fun House, and you were able to go ahead and create and just take all these beautiful pictures of bands and people hanging out and shows and everything else that you could possibly imagine. Now to format for the Kindle Comic Creator, basically I've opened up everything in Lightroom. And what I'm going to do is I've got everything selected, so I need to select everything. And what I want to do is I want to go File, and then what I want to do is Export. And I want to set it up so it will work with what I've chosen to do. So I've gone ahead and I've made a export folder for what I'm going to do because I want to kind of keep them separated from what we're doing here. So I went ahead and selected the folder. The thing you want to make sure of is that you limit your file size to 126K. That is the maximum file size, 126K, that the Kindle can currently take. The height and width of 800 by 1260, that is the maximum screen size native to the Kindle. And then you want a resolution of 96 DPI. You don't want to really... I'd go ahead, um, I'd go ahead and I sharpen for glossy paper, mostly just because the screen on the system is actually kind of glossy when you kind of take a look at what's going on with the entire system. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and export the files. And while I'm waiting on that, let's go ahead and we'll create a new book. So basically the language of the book is English. All right, and then I'm just going to create Kindle Preview Pane, Orientation is Portrait, um, you can do Landscape or Unlocked if you want to, if you can. Um, you may not be able to, left to right, right to left, depending on which is the page direction of your book, and then 800 by 1280. All right, so you want to leave a little bit of space. So we're going to title our book, We Are Seattle Punk Rock Volume 1, and then I'm using my studio name because I'm trying to get stuff to go for that as the author and as the publisher. And then I've got to kind of wait for a minute for the whole system to actually do what I need it to do in terms of the cover. So what I want to do is see if it's actually already given me the cover, and it has. So we're going to go ahead and poke that cover in, and then what it will ask you to do, do you want to start adding pages, and then it will give you the directory to go to, and I've got all my stuff in that, and I'm going to have to wait on Lightroom here for a minute, because there's a lot of pages. There's uh, kind of a maximum size of 50 megabits for this. As long as you've got 50 megabits, then you're pretty much so good to go. One of the things I've noticed with the pricing is that most of the picture books are priced around $2.99. So you want to want to try to keep your size of the of the entire thing at about say oh half of that. Um, the biggest one I pushed out so far is 32 megs, and that was for uh, the Forbidden City in China. And when you start getting into that kind of pricing, you're going to end up with the royalties. Of fairly low, like a buck five per book, and we'll kind of go over that as we move it into Amazon's process. So as soon as we get this whole exporty thing done, so I've got 129 files here, so it's going to come out to this is going to be a pretty large book, but the cool part is the way I framed it in a, um, Adobe Illustrator was that you can kind of see all of these. A lot of these are just kind of collage pictures because I really wanted to try to fit in a lot of the really more ideas of more pictures, more bands, instead of just one picture, one page. So I kind of really tried to do it. Uh, Poop Attack was, is one of the best. Rain City Shrillers, before they broke up, was, was the best Seattle punk rock band with all the rest of it. So again, it doesn't take very long to export, but you kind of got to figure out how you've got it. And I've kind of paged this thing out so you can kind of see where I've got paging numbers on it so we can kind of do this. But, and we're almost done, almost, almost, almost done with this. And kind of get it going from here. But yeah, no, honestly, the, the fun house was just quite the amazing place to go to kind of see what we got. All right, so we're done. So now I can go to here, and I can go and pull up all of the pictures, except for I've already got the cover, so I don't need that. Right, and then we want to go ahead and go open, and you just kind of just suck them right on in, 
Um, the paging should stay the same as long as you've kept the pages going in the same number. So it will pick your, your paging information up. So there's my page one, and I actually have a, uh, an ISBN for this. And then page one, and again, these are, so you can kind of preview it, right? Um, kind of cool. Now what you want to do is you want to save it off. And then once you're done saving it, it's going to take a minute because again, this is like a really large book. Usually you want to try to keep it at about 100 pages. Then what you want to do is you want to go build. And building, what it does, it goes through and validates everything that you've got cooking in here. When it's validating, it's making sure the picture sizes are set right. It's making sure the picture framing is set right. It's making sure that everyone's got everything that they kind of need to have and need to do. That was part of this. Um, and again, I'll probably have a volume two and I'll probably have a volume three as I kind of go, kind of go through because I spent almost five years taking pictures there at the fun house. And again, just really this amazingly cool thing to go see and do and experience. So the validation can take a while, but once it's done and validated everything that you've got, what it will end up going ahead and doing is working from there. We'll then turn around and go ahead and build the book out. And again, um, you'll see all this stuff here in a minute. So while we're waiting on this thing to build and validate, let's go over to Amazon. So what we want to do, you can tell I've been like actually adding titles. So new title. And I'm going to title this F-U-E-R Seattle Punk Seattle Punk Rock Volume 1. Alright, so publisher is going to be Comics Forge because that's my company. And then a description. And one of the things I do with descriptions is I'll actually write the description out in Word so I can actually spell check it before I get going. The spell checking is good. And then add contributors. Again, I'm doing this underneath Studio 5 Graphics, my company. And we want to be an author. And we want to go save. Now, I actually have an ISBN with this. So I need to go bring up that ISBN page. And it sounds like we're actually at the build side. Nope, we're still validating. So I need to go and go to my ISBN page. So I can keep track of it. I need to go back to, not there, but to there, and then to there. So my ISBN is Nine seven eight oh nine eight four six oh two oh oh one. All right, the, uh, I own this book. It's mine. Target your book to customers. So we want to go straight off to photography. All right, because that's what this whole thing is about. You only get two chances. You only get two of these. Um, so basically, you know, you kind of have to figure out what you've got. So subjects and themes. We're basically going to see if we can do something with music. No, oh, we're doing lifestyles. That's one. Uh, and let's just go ahead and do this. I mean, general photography. All right. And then keywords. So we want Seattle. Funhouse. Punk. Rock. Band. Music. And then I have one keyword left. Seattle Funhouse. Punk. Rock. Band. Music. Grunge just to kind of annoy the crap out of people. And then Kindle Comic Creator is still validating. So we're going to browse for the image and save our changes. We browse and I've got the cover. Desktop. And then I've got to wait on the build for all this. <clears throat> so I keep on asking it to do stuff, so that's kind of why we're waiting. But you can run these two properties at the same time, so you can be filling out your Amazon form if you have M Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, right? So KDP, Amazon Kindle Direct Publishing, is a way of getting your books out into the Kindle system. The good part is that since this program does all the formatting and validation for you, 
it once you've got it set up and done, you're in really, really good shape. You can just run with it and go. But you don't have to put in an ISBN if you don't have one. I just happen to have one for this one because I've actually, this book has been sitting around wanting to be published for over two years now. So I'm kind of waiting. I don't enable digital rights management. Um, that's just me. It's a personal statement. It's not anything other than a personal statement. So it's up to you whether you want to do DRM or not. And validation takes a while. So I'm going to pause it while we're waiting for it to finish validating. Okay, so I didn't catch it fast enough. But what it had is it went ahead after it was validated, it went ahead and built out the book. So I went ahead and did it as a command line compiler, which is something you all just don't want to deal with, right? But it creates all the CSS pages, creates all the HTML pages. It writes out all of the images that you did and then goes ahead and compiles them out, builds everything that you need to have, and then you end up with an 11 and a half meg book, basically. All right, and again, you gotta make sure that you don't go over 50, 50 meg. So we go ahead and we save it. And then we're basically done with this. That's all we gotta do is just close this out. And we've got that. And then we can see how it looks inside the preview viewer. So this is what it would actually look like on a Kindle. So I have the ubiquitous stop sign in the background. But the Kindle view is really nice because if you don't like what you see, if you don't like how it looks, then you can turn around and you can actually go ahead and fix it and then kind of go from there and not sweat it. So once that's done, then we go back to here. Nope, wrong place. Then we go back to our place in here, and we, our book content file. It will drop it into your documents directory. And then you go there. The file you want is this guy, the Mobi file. That's all you need to push up there is the Mobi file at 22 megs. All right, and then it will go ahead and it'll upload it and it will take a while for it to upload. But once you've got that Mobi file built, that's all Amazon needs to do this whole process with. And it will upload and then it will validate and then we will be good to go. It's done. Go ahead and uploading. What we'll do is go ahead and take your Mobi file, that one file that you really wanted in the right here, right? The Mobi file. And then it will go ahead and start converting it over to Kindle format. The cool part is that a Mobi file is basically everything that Amazon needs to do its job. So you don't have to sweat that at all. And once it's done converting it, you'll get the little green check mark and life will be good. Okay, now your upload and conversion successful. You can go through and you can preview your book if you want, but we've already previewed it. And then just go save and continue. Now comes the interesting part. I own, because it's my book, I own Worldwide Rights. Now, the list price for a picture book is averaging about $2.99. So what I usually do is I try to go ahead and do and see what my 70% versus what my 35% will be because you actually have to pay for the delivery costs. And what I'm finding out is that the larger the book, the better the, the entire price on this is, right? So the 70% royalty is not necessarily the smartest thing you can do at all times. KDP Select is if you want to make this exclusive to Amazon for a while, for the first 90 days, it just keeps on rolling over. So I'm just going to set it at 35 because I want to make a buck five off of each one of these books. right? If you have a hardcover book or a softcover book, you can do Kindle Match. I want to allow lending because I don't mind people sharing my stuff. And again, it's entirely up to you if you want to do it. And then save and publish. That's it. That is exactly how to make a picture book in Kindle. That's all there is to it. And then you go back to your bookshelf and you can see if your book actually took. So when it's in review, you kind of have to wait. There's about a 12 to 24 hour wait for it to actually get into the system. But once it's in the system, it's all ready to go. If you want to check and see what it looks like in the store, you can just click on the store link and it will bring up what you've got. So there's the Temple of Heaven. That was one of the books I kicked out yesterday. And that's where your description goes in. And you can see if it's sold, if anyone's wrote, written a review. Um, they do try to take a look at different things. It's kind of funny. There's other people that are also writing really, really, really good books on how to do this. So as far as picture books go, you're pretty much so good to go. You can actually open it up and you can kind of see 
the picture and everything else. Uh, you can set it so that it's search inside and everything else that other people would want to have with it. But you know, outside of that, and that's it. That's all there is to it. You've now created your Kindle book.